What's up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Boozer here. Thanks for stopping by. Happy Friday, by the way. Hopefully, you guys had a good weekend uh, planned and set up for you guys. So enjoy all of that. In this video, I want to go over three um, kind of important quick tips uh, that need to be reminded periodically um, just because they're so important and they're just so easy to um, take advantage of, especially for low spend free to play so that you can stretch your resources and you know be more efficient with uh, gaining back resources. So the first tip I got for you guys is basically whenever um, we have a login champion, this needs to be repeated because people always forget. So first, it's going to be related to the Loki chase. So let's say I'm going to go into my Loki chase. You can see here we have, you know, we're going to get it in four days from now. In four days from now, it's going to land right in this Asgardian path. So that's kind of a nice thing that Playroom did was that they gave us the Asgardian path so that we can collect Loki and then get... Uh, points towards the Asgardian path if you want to. So needless to say, um, you know, there's a lot of coverage on it, but the Asgardian path is not very good. Uh, however, it could be beneficial for maybe newer players. And especially if you're claiming a legendary champion, you're going to get a significant amount of points for the Asgardian path. It might be worth your while. However, I do uh, want to stress to you guys an alternative. You do not have to collect Loki. Uh, exactly on day seven there is a way to save him for the future perhaps for the thor fusion that's going to come on september 6. so this is just something to consider you might not be able to pull uh loki for several weeks but it's a couple hundred points towards the champion chase towards a fusion for possibly a pretty desirable champion so it might be something to uh, consider uh, instead of using his points and pulling him towards this existing as guardian path for this weekend just something to consider here uh, so the way you can bypass collecting loki is by once you hit this splash screen instead of collecting the um the chest piece or the item piece here you go to your keyboard and you press the letter r you press the letter r There you are. Sorry about that. I don't know why I did that, but I've never seen that screen before. Uh, but you go and press the letter R. You enter the shop. Uh, the thing is, if you exit the shop, you go back to the Loki screen. So you have to be careful here. You don't want to be clicking the item or you don't want to be clicking off screen or anything. Just click, you know, click the, the picture of him and then click R. Go back to the shop. Once you're in here, you can basically go to here, which is the keys. You can go to anywhere in the game and uh, basically just complete uh, one small task. Let's go to Arena, for example. We'll complete one small task here. And um, after you finish your battle, for example, win or lose, you'll go back to the Bastion. And once you're in the Bastion, you don't have to select your Loki Chase anymore. So this is kind of uh, a neat way of bypassing uh, collecting the Loki reward every day. So we won the fight. So now we can go back to the Bastion and you see our Loki chase is still there. It's just going to be a red dot, right? But we know we have a couple days uh, until we collect the Loki chase, um, you know, for another event. So like I said, guys, you guys can collect it, you know, within four days to get points for the Asgardian path. Uh, what is it? If you pull a legendary for Asgardian path, it's 7,500 points. What the heck is 7,500 points going to get you? it's barely going to get you a six star glyph. So if you pull Loki, you're going to get a six star glyph and a bunch of random stuff. It might not, it might not be worth it for you guys, right? So I would recommend definitely saving it, uh, saving that Loki pull for a champion chase in the future, potentially, you know, maybe one for Odin, if you're really into getting Odin or ideally probably one for Thor, which is the next upcoming fusion. The thing is, you might have to wait several weeks uh, before claiming Loki, but the Loki event doesn't end until November 22nd. So, you know, about two months from now. So it you'll have plenty of time to collect Loki. You'll probably have a couple options for when you want to utilize his points. Uh, but yeah, just a quick tip for you guys. That's tip number one. Tip number two, um, I know some of you guys have always questioned whether this was possible, but basically... Uh, again, I reiterate this. Events that have this prism crystal 
It's not a bad idea to save it sometimes and not just pull it for no reason. Again, we can pull this Prism Crystal for, you know, an Epic or a Chance at a Legendary. And the points will go towards the Asgardian Path. However, the, like I said, the Asgardian Path is hot garbage. I don't want any part of it. And 35 um, Prism Crystals is actually pretty high value, considering that for the same amount of energy, we, they've been giving us 20, 25, 30. So 35 so far seems pretty good. And if they ever lower the price on the next Prism uh, pool, uh, um, next Prism pool, um, then the 35 crystals are going to be worth, you know, significantly more than, you know, they are now. Because right now it's worth one pull. Uh, but in the future, it could be worth one and a half pulls, for example. Just an example. Um, and anyways, I don't really want anything from this pool. So the way you can kind of bypass having it auto pull is basically winning the prism crystal and then just leaving it. Just leaving it, letting it expire here. See, you see here, Sandel is expired, but it won't expire until two days, four hours. So the way it works is that in two days, four hours, this 35 crystal will go here. But in two days, four hours, this would be over. There would be no pool left for left to summon the 35 crystals. Therefore, the 35 crystals will just stay here. And then, uh, depending what the price is for the next summon pool, it will probably auto pull whatever is in here. But you at least get a second look at another pool. So I don't really want anything from this pool. So I'll take my chances on the next pool. Just something to think about, you guys. I know it's a little bit late for that tip, but definitely, definitely consider it. It's worked out for me it's allowed me to get you know one extra pull for like a uh, different pool for example and you know what like you know i don't pay for these prism crystals so this is kind of the only control i have over uh how i manage these crystals because plarium doesn't allow us uh this system plarium doesn't allow us to uh, have any control over uh, when we want to do anything with these crystals and pulls and stuff one quick disclaimer is there has, been oper there has been times where um, sometimes people have said that they've let this expire, but it's still auto-pulled. So the way it works is that if this expiry date um, expires and this pool is still open, then it will auto-pull for you. Makes sense, right? But in this case, it won't. So I would expect the 35 to go here and the pool to end. And now 35 for the next pool to start. Um, but yeah. It's not the end of the world either way because you're not going to lose those uh, prism crystals. They will go here and then they will just get auto pulled and then you'll see a champion in your inbox, um, you know, later on if if it happened to uh, expire early, for example. But anyways, that's tip number two. That's another way to kind of stretch your resources a little bit, try to optimize your resources a little bit. Uh, in this case, you could let it, you could pull it, uh, pull your prism crystal pull your crystal uh, prism shard and then get some value from the asgardian path if you get an epic what's an epic worth in this thing 2000 2000 so you'll be getting five of these mythical charms so i mean it's something it's something but you have the option to bypass it if you so choose make sure you guys keep that in mind the next time there is a prism uh you know crystal event uh since they're happening happening pretty regularly Lastly, guys, I want to make a quick comment about this um, gear removal cost um, event. Three days was four days when it started. It's actually a really good timing for it, um, considering that we have a ton of events happening right now. We have all four dungeons going to be running through the art the free artifact event. It's definitely a great time to reevaluate some of your teams, uh, especially your dungeon teams, trying to optimize a little bit. You don't have to complete all of these dungeons. Look, the, all four of them are going to be active during the weekend. You don't have to complete all of them. There's no way to do it without blasting through your gems and energy. Uh, also, there is the new event dungeon. Um, so there's five active dungeons to be done, right? That people want to do this weekend. So definitely be extra careful about your energy spend. But I highly recommend you guys take a look, take some time, use the weekend to update your dungeon teams. Um, you know, test them out, get some free, get some free points along the way, but make sure it's a good idea. It's a good investment. And these are time attack dungeons. These are all time attack dungeons. This is where having super optimized teams 
makes the biggest difference. It's not about time anymore. It's about how many turns, how optimized they are. So having the um, having optimized teams and then being able to remove and swap gear around freely this weekend is going to make a big difference, especially moving forward, especially for fusions, especially for some of these events. Um, in the end, it's just basically more efficient energy spending, more efficient resource gathering, and you know just more time efficiency as well. Generally, more optimized teams are faster as well. So definitely... Definitely take some time this weekend. I highly recommend uh, Hell Hades Gear Optimizer. Uh, hopefully it's updated for Odin's dungeon. Probably not. It's probably too early. But definitely check out HH's uh, Optimizer. It's like godsend tool for this game, allowing you to re-gear your champions in like the best gear your account can uh, can muster and give you the best teams that the community has to offer. But yeah, definitely consider that. That's going to be my third tip for this upcoming weekend. I think... I covered some quick ones just a little bit of a reminder for you guys i know like veterans have no issues with this at all but definitely worth a reminder for a lot of newer players out there try to stretch the resources and be a little bit more efficient but anyways guys have a great friday thanks for watching have a great weekend as well and uh, let me know what you guys think if you guys have any cool tips anything you guys stick to let me know in the comments below if not i'll see you guys over the weekend have a good one take care